Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're tuning in, uh, this video is about turning this hub from a Ford four and a half inch to a four and three quarters. Um, got a project trick I'm working on. I'm actually shortening a Ford 8.8 .8 rear end. And um, what I wanted to do was, well, while, I was all, while I'm working on the rear end, I wanted to go ahead and just change the um, the, look, the stud pattern from four and a half to five and four, four and three quarter. So that way it matches the um, the new GM uh, lug nut pattern that I have right there. Um, there is a guy on YouTube. I believe his name is Head Flow Inc. I believe. I watched his video. He did an awesome job on the video. Um, his came out really well. So I'm going to try to mimic it. So that's what this video is about. So uh, wish me luck. So first step is um, here's my table. I'm actually going to put the drill the drill press um, right here, I'm gonna bolt it down. Um, it's gonna hang off the end right here, and uh, that's where I'm gonna put the axle to be able to drill into it. But um, I've got it level both ways. So um, that was the first step. So let's get to the second one. So the next step, uh, I've got the drill press on the table. I pre-drilled some holes on the table that I'm using, uh, bolted it down, made sure everything was level. Like I said, the table's level. And then the drill press, I don't know if you can see it or not. Drill press is level. Um, what I ended up doing was the plate that it came with, I actually made the hole bigger so that way the whole axle could fit. Um, so I'm going to lower this, put the axle in, and then um, I'm actually going to use some extra wood right here to hold it on the bottom so that way it's nice and solid. So on this next part, um, I went ahead and marked what was my four and a half and what was my four and three quarters. Um, and I'm starting in between the, the two original hose. And since it's marked and lined up, mine actually snapped in. I didn't have to use a rubber band. Mine snapped in and mine snugged up in there. So um, it's just stay, it should stay still. But like I said, I marked all my four and three quarters with an X. And just like um, the previous guy, um, I did get the kit from Harbor Freight. It does have all the punch set. It was like 12 bucks or something like that. So well, it, seems, it seems like it's pretty good quality uh, for 12 bucks. And like I said, for me, it's probably going to be a one-time use. But uh, I think it'll do the job. So I've got everything lined up. I'm at four and three quarters. So I didn't paint mine. Didn't pay mine, but at least I marked them so I know exactly where they are. All right, so what I did was, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I made the hole in the plate bigger. So the axle went in. Um, I actually put two by four across the metal table. And then I actually notched it right there. That way this kind of sits in there and um, it's gonna be pretty tight. If you notice, it's, it's pretty low. I don't know if you see it or not. So, once it's strapped down, I mean, it'll be right on there. I don't know if you can tell. So, that's the plan. So, next step is to um, strap it down and start drilling. Now, this is the old axle. I'm actually going to try it, try it out on the old axle first. 
Um, I have the new axle here, um, the shorter one. And like I said, since this is a longer one, this is going to be my test axle. So that way, if I mess anything up, no big deal. All right, so I did a uh, test drill on the old um, on the old axle, and um, I had old drill bits that actually worked okay. Um, but I realized I needed new drill bits, so I got new drill bits. Um, I got some oil to kind of cool it. So this is the actual axle I'm going to use, and I've already did the same thing. I punctured all the pre, uh, punctured all the um, starting spots, and I pre-drilled one already. Um, I haven't stepped it up yet, but I started with that one, and I'm just going to start on the next ones. So rather than switch out my drill bit every time, I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the same same drill bit, pre-drill them all with the starting bit, make sure everything's lined up, and then I'll go ahead and change out the bit later. But each time I'm putting my uh, clamp on the bottom, I'm making sure it's level both ways. And then start back up. And this is the most important step, guys. Make sure that every time you're not rushing, make sure that you are on the point that you want to drill. Make sure everything's level. And there's no sense in rushing it. All right. That one's done. Hey, guys, I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but um, this is my first time, so I'm just taking it step by step. So I just finished drilling all the hose for the first axle. Um, I think they came out pretty good. So now that I've done my test run and my first trial on the first axle, now I am going to try the original one. And this is the original short one. The other one here is the new short axle that I bought after shortening the axle. So that's why this one looks newer, but let me start up on the next one. Okay, so you've seen yourself that the rotor does fit on the axle now. Um, everything looks good. Um, this is everything that I, I ended up using to do this project. Um, I use the uh, bolt pattern template. I mean, as you can see, it shows four and a half, four and three quarter, uh, different sizes. I use the punch set and a hammer. Uh, Sharpie to mark everything. Um, that way I, I made sure I was drilling the right hole and not the original. Um, 
Most important thing, I got me some new drill bits. Um, I actually started, got these DeWalt ones. It's the gold and black. Um, black Friday sale right now. I got them for like, honestly, I got them for like six bucks. It goes up to half an inch. And these worked like really, really well. Uh, mine, I actually had to go up a larger size, up to 15 millimeter. So after the half inch, I ended up buying a 916 and a 15 millimeter. These are from Drill America. And guys, these things worked really well. They're cobalt. Um, like the other the other video that I followed, uh, take your time. Um, let the drill bit kind of work itself in there and you'll feel it kind of catch. And once it catches, it just kind of just goes in smoothly. But don't force it. Uh, you force it, you're gonna start putting stress on the um, on the drill press. And um, mine was actually giving me problems at first, so I had to re uh, repair a couple little things. But uh, once I got it going, it was it was great. But like I said, guys, um, I am done. I took it off here. This is the one that goes there. Um, my next project is to start cleaning all this up, um, weld on a couple other things, and get ready for it to mount onto the uh, truck. So hope you liked the video. Hope it was helpful. If you got any questions that I can help you with? Oh, and I actually use cutting oil. Um, I tried the three-in-one oil and I tried water. They work okay, but guys. To me, just getting some cutting oil, it worked out great. I mean, that, that was a lot easier than using the three-in-one or water. So just the last tip. But like I said, you got any questions, um, got any comments, even suggestions for the next one, if I ever do it again, please leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.